We've missed you. Welcome to the Concord Experience. I, as always, am your host, Justin Smith, digital mouth of the Esports South and the SIG Tall Lord. Joined, as always, by one of the most talented, incredibly intelligent, handsome people <laughs> I'd ever met. The, the uh, brand and marketing director at Concord Esports, John Rose, aka Johnny Boy. And we have a special guest for you today. Uh, we have Ashton Huffman, resident snake player for the Super Smash Brothers Maroon Squad and the captain of the black team in ECAC. Yep. Ashton, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Well, good, good. John, we usually start this podcast off talking about esports. I think the one thing that I would like to hear your opinion on, something I've, I've found incredibly intriguing, is at the time this is happening, we're clearing up what exactly is allowed and not allowed with regard to Apex Legends. Yeah. Uh, we had to issue a statement to our players yesterday saying, don't play the game, you might destroy the computer. <laughs> uh, which is not something I expected to no. experience in my tenure in esports. John, talk to me about it. As far as what, like the situation? So this this all origi originated during the during ALGS a finals. ALGS finals. <laughs> yeah. So or NA finals. Yeah. What so what what happened? So uh, apparently someone hacked the um, EA servers and or servers in general for ALGS um, and actually hacked into uh, a pro player uh, Jen Burton's uh, actual account and was able to control the character and. Apparently Imperial Hal got um, aimbot because he was in his account as well and got him aimbot. And Imperial Hal, I saw on Twitter yesterday, is still banned on Apex while they're trying to get it resolved. So um, he hasn't been able to stream. So it's a it's a whole thing. So apparently everything that we've been told and been that we've seen is that um, it's still very much vulnerable. So if you like play Apex on like the EA servers, um, that your your PC is, I guess, able to get hacked into. Ashton, are you ready to confess to the crimes of cyber attacks against small indie company Electronic Arts? Uh, sorry, I wasn't feeling good that day, so I just wanted to take it out on EA real quick. Somebody ought to. Uh, EA Sports, it's, it's in the game. I love EA. Um, I really do. I love you. I, I value a lot of their, their projects. I, I do get a little frustrated because it seems like a lot of this could be avoided if, you know, they listen to a lot of the fans with regard to that inter interaction. But, I mean, it is absolutely hilarious that the arguably the greatest Apex player of all time was just like, no, I'm totes not cheating. Um, but, I mean, we need to solve this. Well, he wasn't cheating. Yeah, I know. That's oh, that's that's why like, it's yeah. hilarious. Yeah, okay. Uh, a whole dude just decided, you know what? No, if there's someone to blackmail, it's the guy <laughs> at the top. Uh, well, folks, we have had the honor over this year to travel multiple times for lands, sure. uh, be it lands against other universities, open lands, and some specific events that have nothing to do with collegiate at all. And a lot of those have to do with Smash Brothers. Ashton has traveled a lot with the program during their time in the program. And this year, we've taken you to Campus Clash. We've taken you to New York. That was an experience. Um, <laughs> and you've been to various other local events. So I, I, I like seeing all the, the content that we produce around the land. And it is nice that, that our production team and John go out of the way to get your insight. What's it like being a player having to travel to these events? Like, what would you say is the largest convenience point for you and the largest inconvenience point? And we can go at it from multiple ang angles. Don't hesitate to talk about Campus Clash, New York, other local events, the lands that you've played here at Concord. Tell me, tell me, what, what is the best part about it? The, well, the best part about all the lands is kind of like the energy that each land kind of like carries within itself. My least favorite part is the drive there. I can't stand it. Yeah. Um, now, if me and Tyrell are in the van together, it's a fun time because we both like joke back and forth and bounce off of each other. You, you've two been in the van mm -hmm. for that. It's, it's always a trip, literally and figuratively. Um, but the, the lands themselves are like my favorite part because the energy that's in the lands, the players like go up against. Even though there's like I've been beaten before in the lands like plenty of times, but I always come back learning something from it. I always feel like okay i didn't do too well why is that and 
these lands give me an opportunity to ask that question very consistently. Now, there's been times where, like Canvas Class, for example, one of the local lands, uh, I go there, I do fairly well, but I do, I don't do too well against like the number one player in the state or mm -hmm. uh, against a player who is PR in the state and plays like a character like Luigi. I don't oh, really God. know how to get around Luigi's shenanigans that well. And by the time I figure it out, I already got hit with like three zero death combos. <laughs> so speaking of a crazy character that that did he at New York, insane. How do you how do you know when when you sit down? At what point in the fight are you like, oh man, this is yeah. this 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 is a weak spot for me? Uh, well, like John mentioned that Diddy in New York, I audibly said, who made that combo up? And the other Diddy was cited the pro player that made that combo up. Because if I'm getting hit with something that I never thought a character could do, yeah, that's a big blind spot for me. And then I'm like, well. Because <laughs> I used to play Diddy and Ashton was showing me Diddy combos. So I was like trying to learn them. I was, but like I, I hadn't seen these combos. <laughs> yeah, I knew, I knew like basic stuff. I didn't know the, the advanced yeah. stuff like this guy knew. Yeah, it was insane. So like I, I had to like learn a fair bit of blind spots. And it is also kind of like a, a mixed thing as well because like we play against Diddy's on Wi-Fi during ECAC and, mm -hmm. and NECC. It's very different. Very different because the last one we played didn't even use banana. No, like, they didn't. One time the entire you, match. You use banana not so much as something to <coughs> but as something to leave on the ground there as kind of like an intimidation thing. It's the same way I use C4 uh, for like Snake as part of my kit. We'll keep going with the ringing. Uh, it's the same way that Snake uses his C4. He kind of like leaves it there and it's like, sure. Yeah, he oh, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Yeah, he's <laughs> going to do it. He's going to do it. It's a setup. And this Diddy kind of used Banana more as a setup for something and less like a projectile. Whereas the one in New York was like aggressive with it, right? Oh, no. I was talking about how he's talking. Okay, yeah. I got yeah, you. Okay. The, the one in New York used Banana as like an intimidation yeah, tactic. Yeah, yeah, okay. The Wi Fi Diddies that deal with ECAC and NECC, they just throw it at yeah, you and okay. run at you. Yeah, that's why I got confused. So, like, this Diddy, he knew all his stuff and he knew it well. Yeah, that was insane. It. The, the moment his diddy got the hold of me, it was over. So you play a single player experience, even though we do crew battles, when you go to a LAN. What, at what point do you find yourself successful? And when is the LAN like, feel more like a loss? Like what, what win rate or how far do you need to make it for you to feel successful? Uh, as long as when it comes to like my win-loss ratio is like in the positive, I feel I've been somewhat successful. Now, if I get like 0-2, I kind of see it as like a failure. Now, like for example, in Campus Clash, I think I went 2-2, 3-2, something like that. And then I kind of like went very further into the intermediate brackets, which was kind of like the, hey, you lost, but we still want you to like stick around and play. So we made a whole bracket for you. Kind of like a consultation bracket. Yeah. And so it's not like you travel up there to play two games and get and have yeah. to go back home like all that time. Yeah. So yeah, they, that would yeah, suck. They put me in an intermediate bracket and I did fairly well in there. Even went up against some PR players, which that was tough. Um, but some of the success I see is when people don't know how to deal with my play style now of course there are quite a few players that know how to get around it tyrell mm -hmm. for example he knows how to get around it yeah because the way i play snake is both very campy and very high risk high reward yeah i go for what i like to call the hail mary <laughs> so it's when i do double grenade on ledge mortar is coming straight down and i hold the rpg out <laughs> And if you neutral get up and you shield it, your shield's broken. So now, not only is your shield broken, but now you're gonna like die at like 40 or like 30 because I'm gonna fully charge the F smash. And Snake's F smash is like the, one of the strongest in the game. So I guess to, to put a pin in the conversation about lands, 
We really value giving students the opportunity to go to these lands and to experience competition in person because that is part of our, our, our modus operandi here. We want not just esports like remote, we want in-person experiences. Do you think that you, you would travel more given the opportunity? Are you happy with the level of traveling you're doing? And if you did have to rate your travel experience at Concord University as a player on a scale of one to five, what would you rate it? Uh, I would definitely like to travel more to the events because outside of like going to the lands, outside of like the times that we do go, I don't really have a whole lot of time. And so this feels like I have a set box to where I can go to a land because outside of that, I don't, really have the time or resources and I've actually been told by players from the state like you need to go to more lands because mm -hmm. you're really good and you would get PR if you just went to more lands right it's just the time timing to get there. it is a commitment yeah for so sure. like it's it's hard for me to find time uh, unless there's a specific box that has been set for me right gotcha versus us like being like hey we're gone this weekend for a tournament you'll be there and then you're like cool yeah like because it, it's hard for me to like schedule things around mm -hmm. where I, i'm very busy right and the, as far as like the traveling experience i would rate it like a three out of five like five. Don't, don't get me wrong i like to <laughs> <laughs> don't get me wrong I like nobody to... likes yelp don't get me wrong. I like to. You made it a Yelp. I did. <laughs> I'm not, well, I want his honest opinion. I, I, I want their honest opinion. I really do value it. I, I do. Don't get me wrong. I like to travel and go to these places and see so many different things, but kind of hate the drive. But that's just me. So the two is just the fact we make you sit in a van. Yes. <laughs> okay. That that speaks ample amounts. It's like when you order something and they forget the fork. The whole meal experience is ruined. ruined. Yeah. So I guess get well, van diff. <laughs> van diff. Van diff. I so guess. we should start flying. Do you, I mean. No. <laughs> well, like flying or maybe a bus. That way I can just like sleep sprawled out and I don't have to worry about like being on top of someone's shoulder or something like that. Who knows? So you didn't like the 10 hour drive? No, I didn't like the 10 hour drive in a cramped van. I love no. it. It's not, a, it's not a van. It's actual like enterprise, like nice Sprinter van with the sliding doors. You got the nice leather seats. It's not like, not, it's not a, not a van. Well, we, we packed it full though. Yeah. I got cramped. Our luggage was in the director's car because he had to drive separate because we were max capacity. Definitely max capacity. Well, I know at the end of the day, Ashton, it has been a pleasure to be able to coach you and to go to these events with you. You really add so much to the team, and we're, I know we didn't talk much about individual results, but I'm glad we were able through ECAC competition, able to give you the opportunity to shine as a captain and as a leader. Yeah. We're really proud of it, you. It really does feel good seeing that uh, my team has went undefeated Absolutely. into playoffs. So. Yep. That, that definitely makes me feel like a certain sense of pride. I was like, I was the architect for that. But yeah. it's, you know, it's a team game with the way how it's formatted. So it's not just me. It's also Jaden Knight and Xander, who's also known as Papa Nut. Like, those, without those two players, I wouldn't have been able to make it as far as I did by myself, obviously, since it's Cruz. Well, it's not over. It's ring season here at Concord. And we're hoping to close it out. Yep. Make sure you check out our social media so you can see the results of these matches and cheer for us as we go into playoffs. We go live almost every night on Twitch, roughly around 8 o'clock. Make sure you check those regular hours every day. John, I know I just stole your thunder by talking about social media, <laughs> but dang it, man, is there anything you want to plug? No, just like what he said, do the do down below. Check out the socials. Uh, check out the Twitch link. Um, if you have a Amazon Prime account, make sure you use your pre Twitch Prime sub every single Please. month to support the students and all the hard work uh, that Cody and all of the remaining of our production staff puts in to make all this great content. Without them, we would not be able to do it. And without your Twitch Prime, we won't be able to do it. So make sure you use it. We need it. And it doesn't go into our pockets Straight despite despite our best attempts. <laughs> no additional income from this. It just goes all back into funding our students. Well, uh, Ashton, thank you for joining us. And folks, thank you for watching. And as always, hope you have a good day. Take care. <laughs>